What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another wonderful episode of East of Vineland, New Jersey. We uh, have fast forwarded some time. Welcome back to the spring of year two now. We have got a full, beautiful field full of wheat that we're going to get plowed or uh, harvested and um, picked off today. I think we're going to sell this entire field, get some funds in the bank. We've got a little bit up there, but we're looking for some more fields, more equipment, more awesome stuff. I do know we said last episode we're going to sell this wonderful main silo. It holds a good amount of stuff, but we would really like to get that underground silo, and I'm thinking that we're going to do that right now. So let's jump. Oh, my. I am. There we go. So let's jump in here and let's sell this for 147,000. That put a little bit of extra cash in the bank. <clears throat> we're going to use this same exact platform to drop down the new silo. And I think we're going to go all the way down here. And we're going to grab this one. All right, well, mm, this one. Hmm. Or should we do something a little different? We could do a hayloft silo. I wonder if now nah, we're just going to go with the underground one. It's really easy, really nice, really little so that we don't. Why is this underground over there? That's kind of interesting. Uh, we'll toggle free mode, which is a problem because it looks like it's cutting right into the ground. So I guess we're going to set it kind of we'll kind of set it like this direction. Let's change the camera around real quick so we can see how it's faced. And let's put it, maybe not. Maybe we'll stick it kind of like right here. And we'll snap it into place maybe. Kind of like, just like that. That'll work for me. This way it also allows us to put down maybe one of these grass dryers. Eventually when we get some grass going. And there's plenty of other silos and other options that we can go with. But for right now, we're just going to go with that. And I think that was it as far as what we we're going to do here. Wow, this one is a interesting cow barn. I've also thought about just placing a cow barn like right here, you know, changing up the land, figuring it out so we could actually have cows. But we'll get to that later on. Right now, we're going to need to get in the combine, start her up and get to harvesting. And we will unfold this bad boy real fast. It's a little field. Not much, you know, to do. But hopefully we get a good amount of profit off of this off of this field. Alrighty, so I don't know exactly what happened there. Um, tried to get the... Um, I tried to activate the combine and it just didn't work anymore. And I'm not entirely sure why. But anyway, we're going to get to the harvesting real quick. And then uh, I will bring you guys back after we are all done. And we're going to start bailing.
Alrighty, we are done with the harvest. We've got a total of 47,000 liters. I don't know about you, but that seems like a pretty good yield. Um, I don't think we missed. I mean, we missed like one or two little spots, but I mean, what are... What's like one or two liters? I mean... <laughs> If it's not a thousand, if we're not missing like a thousand of it, I don't really care. So we're going to pull the pipe out, get this ready to be emptied, and we're going to go, uh, let's see which tractor we want to use. We've got the baler hooked up to the other tractor, and we've got our uh, wild front loader just hanging out up there. So we'll just jump in this little guy. Let's get on over here. We'll go... And grab our lovely dovely wheat. And dump that in there. Kind of looks like we're spilling it all over the ground. But that's all right. I don't know how to... Well, there we go. 47,580 liters of wheat we have here in this lovely tipper. So we're going to dump this in here. We will wait for the prices in the time saving clock to, or the stock clock to figure out uh, where we could sell it the most. Looks like it's going to be worth a max value of 114000 but it looks like we're probably going to get somewhere around the 103000 range. Um, we got quite a bit of slurry, which we should probably buy a tank to pull it out and drop it off at the biogas plant. Um, let's park this up real quick. Turn that off. Go on over here, back to the combine. And jump on in there. We will just keep on baling. And I've currently got the bale counter up there. So we know how many bales we're going to do. And I would love to know by the end of it how many we've actually done. So we're going to just keep on bailing and I will see you guys after we are done. Alrighty, we are back and we picked up, uh, we got about nine bales. Yeah, nine bales out there, 180 centimeter kind. And we're just going to park this, uh, I don't know. We'll just put it like right here. I don't really care. And we'll turn that off, run over to the truck. And we'll go pick ourselves up some bales. And whoop, do a little drifty drift. It, oh, okay all right oh, well, you know what it can stay there how about that and we'll back up to this there we go and we will drive this away all righty let's go and try this again and yeah whoa look at that it is way up in the air that looks crazy that looks insane. What? What does that even mean? Why is that bale a different size? Alrighty then. And we're just gonna add all these bales to the side of the trailer. I like how they're just floating. Okay. Okay. All right. We'll just uh, there. There we go. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Abort loading. On bales. Uh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Reset operating position. There we go. Oh, geez. Slide them over. Okay, there we are. Much better. Now it looks like we're somebody. Um, I'm really curious, though, as to why that bale is a different size. 
I am not entirely sure why that bale is a completely different size. Let's go pick up these bales. I know we were waiting to do that as well. Okay, so these are all different size bales. I have no idea why or what happened. Er, stop here and unload bales there. And oh, good. Those bales are not accepted there. Well, I don't know where we're going to put them then. I know what we'll do. I figured out what we're going to do. We're just going to go. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Okay. That was. We didn't hit anything. So that's good. We're just going to go sell them. Unload. They are not closed. That was an easy 7,000 bucks. Look at that. So if we just do that a thousand more times. We'd have a little bit of cash. What was that 70 grand? I don't know. And back to the farm. Alrighty, we are back at the farm. We're going to stop checking on the pigs while we're over here. And we've got enough food and a bunch of slurry. I don't really care. I don't know. You guys are good, self sustaining. I'm going to sell you eventually anyway. Hopefully, we make a good little penny off of those. I don't remember how much we bought them for, but hopefully, whenever we do go to sell them, we get a good little little chunk of change oh but we don't have a header we could buy a header though because we could we can maybe we should or we could get into bailing and we could turn this entire field into grass Ooh, i don't know we could wrap them make silage sell the silage ooh, 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 i don't know what i want to beans it is oh my take forever to unfold why don't you come on now we ain't got all day. <laughs> Just kidding. We have all day long. All right, lower it down. Turn the sewing machine on. And let's get to sewing. Woohoo! We are off to the races at a whole nine miles an hour. And climbing. All righty. Well, I guess I'll see you guys probably during the next harvest. Uh, there's not much going on. The pigs are kind of self-sustaining. Um... Not much is probably going to happen. I might do a couple contracts, grab some extra cash. We might look into a new harvester. Uh, and then obviously next season, um, we're going to have to, or next year, I should say, we will uh, look into buying another field, I guess. We're going to need some more fields if we're going to get anywhere. So, all right, guys. Well, I will see you next harvest season, which probably means, oh, wait, that's the end of the episode as well. We're just going to back on up here and we're going to keep on planting. Um, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe if you like and enjoy what you're seeing. I know this episode was pretty straightforward to the point. We harvested, we bailed, we sold the silo and that's about it. I don't really have anything else going on. We're just going to fast forward some time, keep an eye on the pigs, maybe complete a couple contracts. Let me guys know if you want to see some contract gameplay, because I can throw that in there as well. I'll just record it with no commentary. We'll just kind of do like a time lapse thing. Uh, time lapses can be super boring to watch uh, if it's all that's all you're watching. I don't know about you, but I don't like that kind of play style. Let me know what else you want to see on the channel. I play a lot of different games. I do a lot of different stuff. So, you know, let me know. But anyway, I will catch you guys in the next year. On Farming Sim 2022, Eastland, New Jersey. See ya!